This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello and welcome to your CBSLA.com News Brief. I'm Paul Majors. We're on Stormwatch. The rain flooded streets in Torrance. Several drivers were stranded. The flooding also caused a massive traffic backup that stretched for miles. In Alhambra, crews are working to close a sinkhole at the intersection of Mission Road and Margarita Avenue. Crews are using cameras to look underground in hopes of discovering what caused the sinkhole. The Woodland Hills woman who claims a pot cookie from her hair salon made her sick has reached a $25,000 settlement. Joanne Nickerson claims she suffered a rapid heartbeat and hallucinations. The salon denied any wrongdoing. Well, just days before Christmas, Redlands police are looking for donations for their annual Shop for the Cop program. The program is in jeopardy after their biggest sponsor pulled out of their $1,000 donation. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of the day, stay with CBSLA.com. I'm Jackie Johnson. Showers and thunderstorms move in as this latest storm system pushes through our area overnight tonight through your tomorrow morning. And then we are looking at clear skies, cooled temperatures for the rest of the work week, but sunny and 70s by next week. I'm Gary Miller with sports. The Chargers will remain in San Diego for at least one more season, announcing today they will not exercise a termination clause in their current Qualcomm Stadium lease. The Dodgers made it official, signing free agent pitcher Brandon McCarthy to a four-year deal. And in the NHL, the Maple Leafs snapped the Ducks' seven-game win streak 6-2, to two, while the Kings lost in St. Louis 5-2. to two. Remember, you can always find the latest scores on CBSLA.com. Thank you, Mary. Gary. That's your CBSLA.com news brief. Remember, we're always on. Click listen live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere.